Uh. Hey there, everybody. It's Chris, also known as the Alter Ego for ScrunchableCadaver.com. And I thought I would uh, start on the new series. Uh, not, not very often series, so to speak. Uh, we tend to cough, cover an awful lot of indie games and random games and downloadable games and all those kind of things. So I thought none of game would... Uh, would cover something that was a bit more popular uh, along the way and do a short video on it to uh, let you know what to think, especially older games that uh, maybe are by the by, so to speak, so you can maybe get a, a bit of a genealogy for uh, what what type of people and what type of gamers we are. As you can see today, I've got uh, Driver San Francisco. Uh, I've been playing this a fair bit, I've talked about it a bit in the podcast and uh, picked it up for four ninety nine from Steam just before the sale, I think it was, and uh, yeah, I'm having some fun with it. Uh, I'll give you a brief run through of what the game is and and that kind of stuff, uh, and then I'll give you more of my uh, thoughts about it, so to speak, uh, further on down the line as we get towards the end. Um, so there's a wee bit of a story recap as far as I know when you start up the game for every time. I'll play through that. I'll turn the the volume up on that so you can hear it. And um, then we'll play through a, a, a mission. Uh, the next one up is a pretty good indicator of, of what the game is, especially as it gets towards the later, later stage. Um, whatever the story doesn't, or the wee recap doesn't fill, I'll fill in for you before we go to play it. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Enjoy, sit back. Oh yeah, isn't the music absolutely fucking fantastic though? <laughs> I absolutely love it, this 70s cop thing going on, yeah. Yeah, even the haircuts and the whole style of it would do. Cool, so here we go. Every day you get locked in the trunk of a car. Not for her, anyway. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. So this isn't um, recapping the story at all. When I just booted it up beforehand, it did. So, um, oh, well, we'll may as well watch the, the cutscene for where I am then. You play the dude on the right, the driver of the car. Hence driver, San Francisco. And the other guy's your partner. Um... There's a guy being released from jail called Chris Jericho, I think, uh, is what his name, but he's a bad man. Uh, one of her... Oh, here we go. Convicted cop killer and international smuggling kingpin, Charles Jericho. Charles! Sentencing later today. Jericho put a bullet in my back and a lot of good men in the ground. Jericho's going down today. You did that. Be proud of that. 40 out of 30 on the move to assist officers under fire from a goddamn news chopper. Ray. There's no part of me that wants to believe what I just yeah, saw. Yeah, but you saw it. I'm not losing my mind. It's real. Yeah, so what you didn't see there was the fact that our hero can shift in the other bodies, basically in the other cars, <laughs> for the kiss of, of the... Um, of the game and uh, take over their car and do things and that. So, um, yeah, the the game's based around that kind of that kind of mechanic. And then it's a driving game, so it'll be chase sequences, ramming people off the road, hitting uh, checkpoints quickly, all that kind of stuff. But it's dressed up very nicely, as you can see. The quality of the cutscenes, I think, is superb. The music is superb, and. Um, if you like driving games, it's a slight variation on a theme, even though you're doing pretty much the same things. So I'm going to turn the music down a little bit so that I can talk over the top of it. Um, I can't tell you exactly how long I'm into the game, but I've been playing it for, for, for a while, and according to my little counter, I've been going for a, a good couple of hours anyway. So... Um, I've got a new mechanic opened up here called Rapid Shift, so press the right button because I'm using a wired 360 controller here. Um, and it Rapid Shifts. Cool. Mm. Well, 
gotta practice this. Get faster at it. Okay. Oh, now this is something. Okay, so Robert Shift. Just lets me go quickly between partners. Oh, cool. That is quite cool. Let me go back to the other car because it gets stuck. Oh, and that works so well. Very good. There's the getaway car. I'm gonna ram them off the road. I'm gonna have to do this. Well, we need to get this car up closer, I think, certainly. Uh, here we go with Slipstream, baby. I've lost my ability to go to the car. I think I wrote it off. Cool. It shouldn't have let me do that. Let me all honesty shoot it. Oh well. I was looking forward to do using these two things in tandem, but um, not to be. Don't. I'm having a fucking cop car, you dickhead. Oh, that's cost me. When people hear sirens, they're not supposed to back and slow down and get out of the way. I don't know. Thankfully, this dickhead's driving a shitty car. And um, we take him down. Imagine trying to get away from me in that state. So, what I can do. Uh, I've just shifted out of the car. Okay, so I can zoom up out of the way. And I can go to all these various... If you look at the map at the top, I've got, like, uh, yellow circles with objectives inside it. And then I've got blue ones as well. So, say I'll go towards the blue one here. I've went right up and... Oh, there's one over there. So, those are side missions. Uh, that's an activity. So, perform stunts to reach a target heart rate of 180 degrees. So, you have to keep on per performing uh, stunts. And you get rewards like points, which you use for upgrade. Or, as you can see in the case of this, I can unlock the Hudson Horn at the buy. So, I'll play it. Why not? So tell me what stunts I have to do, and I'll play them. And these are just the side missions for basically grinding points for upgrading and uh, money, that kind of stuff. So, so uh, I have the drift, jump, and overtake. Oops. I've got a near, near miss there. Yeah. Thank you. Wee bit of drift there gets me up to 110. Wee bit of overtaken. Whoa. Uh, near miss. Speed's gone up or getting up rapidly. So all the all all the things that you do in other games are all built into this. Um, I mean, PGR style, I suppose, is about the best way to say it. You know, it's it's nearly like their um, point system uh, style system, so to speak. There we go. All I had to do was keep driving like a maniac and uh, get the reward. Fairly straightforward. Uh, as you can see, I have 25,000 of these WP points, which is all well and good. And you can grind away in those little activities. Some of them are more interesting than that. There are der ones, um, that kind of stuff. So I will come out of that. And what I'll do is I'll head towards one of the, the yellow ones, which are more... Uh, Storyline missions and side missions and that kind of stuff. So if I go down here... So we've got a chase mission, so we have to take down a getaway. 
Well, we've just done one like that. Uh, let's see if we go this way. I've got one that's locked there, which I'm, I'm assuming is the story mission. Yeah, so it's locked. So I have to do two of these city missions to unlock it. Uh, and I'll do this one first. Uh, so it's a stunt. So I've got to get the, the club before the show starts. Listen to me, KP. Calm down. Put your pacifier back in your mouth and, uh... Hey, bitch. Your boy, little baby, bite my rhymes. So tonight my crew's gonna bust up the launch party. Crazy B sounds real mad, Jackie. What you gonna do, asshole? The venue's a secret. Secret? I do like those little vignettes and the people, etc. Uh, they're, they're very, very good, and they're all different throughout the game, but so far, anyway. Which is, which is excellent. They put a wee bit of effort into it in that, in that regard, so. So I have to mark objects at time. Smash to reveal destination, not all the objects need smashing. So there's one up ahead of me. Hmm. A bit in uncommon traffic. Cool. Uh, it doesn't seem like you get um, penalised for hitting civilians, which is always good. Because that's... They always make you drive off the road in these games, and... You know, it's, it just seems like a... A thing that you'll never get away with, so why take it away? You know, it's it's... Taking away some of the fun. I've got a reputation in this town, Gary. I can't be seen in a beat up ride. Yeah, I'm sure you've got a reputation. Mm, so I've been in this part of the city before. And fucked it up the first time, and I fucked it up this time. Um, I will say that. I'm not a massive fan of the driving controls. Uh, I, you would think your main car or the cop cars or things like that would control the best or control fabulously well, but they don't really seem to. Uh, I might fail this mission, but... Give me three seconds. Give me three seconds. skills a little bit with the um, oh, I'm cutting this fine It. Oh damn it, god Gary. damn it. Just killed little Bay's career. Don't you lose no sleep, Viola. The kid had it coming. I'm gonna do it again. I know it's not very interesting to watch, but uh I like these. Yeah, the world's crying out for more rappers. KP doesn't know where the show is, so we just smash all the street ads. I'll be damned. I never knew there was a brain under all that beat. The brain's new. Get it 
I think these two are out of... Oh, for fuck's sake. Made this pretty much impossible to do, probably. Um, if needs be, I'll... Cut bits out. All right, let's go. Don't you lose no sleep Jesus Christ. Let's have it. Little Bay to play at least one gig before he hits the more. Yeah, the world's crying out for more rappers. KP doesn't know where the show is, so we just smash all the street ads. I'll be damned. I never knew there was a brain under all that beef. The brain's new. Say it again. Love the soundtrack. Let's not worry about that one too much. Let's hit that. There's other little collectible cha uh, challenges through the. Whoa! Okay, so I've got through that little section. going too bad although I would say this mission's gone on a bit long God, these driving games would be easy if it wasn't for the other cars, wouldn't they? So now it's showing me where it is. Objective... Whoa, and we're done. So that's one. Made it the club in town. No, you don't. Ha! I can't find the goddamn. And 70s groove music starts again. Cool. So we've done a getaway. We've done a uh, objective hitting the flag point. So, yeah, all very good. And I think we're heading towards another race. As you can see, as you go through and complete objectives, you can unlock new activities, etc. You've seen that I picked up a little movie icon there. Those things are a bit contrived, I think. In a in a game like this, takes you out of out of it. Those little uh, 
little glowy sign, so to speak. So here's uh, a race. Finish the race in first or second. We've done this. These followed these guys before, huh? They've been street racing. So let's do it. Let's hit the minty. So again, we've got to hit these uh, these points, so to speak. So we've got one down, and it's just street racing, just like every other. Street racing game, and it's just like a need for speed at this at this juncture. I would suggest. Very smooth. Yeah, I'm a ninja type Cheers, dude. For shite's sake. I think that's one of the mechanics that's generally broken in racing games in general. Not that I think we're necessarily out of this already because there's still a long way to go, but um, other traffic, etc. As you can see, it's quite easy to get back and at them, and then there's all this rubber banding that, that's going on. Yeah, because you see how quick I caught up in there, and then the rubber band, as soon as they learn to look behind, and they don't get too far in front, which I suppose, you know, is good in one way, bad in another. But uh, it's very, very gamey. This should be an Olympic sport, shouldn't it? You know, we don't need no stinking fucking horses. Damn it, John. Oh, come on, he pulled out from nowhere. No, I didn't. I seen him. Race me an uncommon traffic, motherfuckers. Not long to go now. We should talk about the wisdom of staking everything on a single race. What are you talking about? We're kicking ass. I am moved. It won't always be this way. What, you're magically going to forget how to drive like this? Fuck's sake, I'm gonna get caught here just at the very, very end. I'm second. After driving so well. So, we got it anyway. So that's two city missions done. And, I can do the story mission. So, I'll, I'll make my way through this and then... Uh, and then we'll call it quits uh, for these first of our. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call them. The thing that keeps on sticking in my head is the AAA Wankfest. Uh, AAA being anything that's made by a major pu publisher or has enough hyper scope or resources behind it to um, to warrant that. So let's see. So we've got to do investigate the lead and the kidnapper. So these are.
So, we'll play through this. So, we're following on from the last mission where we had to rescue somebody locking the back of a... Back of a car. Dr. Allen described a white European sports car. We find the car, maybe we find out who the girl with the knife was. Clear a case for one. So we're driving quite sensibly. Isn't this nice? This way I drive in real life. Let's go straight through the two cars. Nothing too crazy about that. And here we go. Gimme system. Blue smoke. Who are ya? Who are ya? Baby, this girl is calendar material. We gotta get close. I swear there's something familiar about her. All right, sit tight and I'll see if we can get an ID. Mm. I think I've got a tailor. What do you think? Tail the suspect. Awesome. Hey, you're too close, Tanner. Pull back a bit. Just, just don't lose it. Do this, do that. When did we get married? You ever done a tail job before? Ease off, man. You're getting too close. Fine, I hear you. It's always a good idea to stay that far away from people in tail sequences, uh, sequences anyway, because then if they make a sudden move, you can react. Old-fashioned police work. Now you talk my language. Control, this is 40 out of 30. Run this play for us, would you? 8DR8139. Acknowledged. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you a pick too. Suspect was pretty far away, but do the best you can. Understood. Driving with you is an education, man. Now watch closely. There will be a test. <laughs> I think somebody would notice if they were driving like that behind them. Shut up. Yeah, what you got for us? The vehicle is registered to a 79-year-old woman from Idaho. Yeah, right. Like grandma's gonna be rolling in the car like that. We ran the picture through the national database. Didn't turn up anything. Try interval control. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Stand by. So like I say, there's um Don't know why the volume dropped there a little bit, um, but uh, like I said, it's uh, it's normal driving stuff for you know dressed up in a, a story. Pretty nice driving on the freeway. It's nice than driving in GTA 4 or even Saints Row for that. Although I really like the handling of the cars in Saints Row. Interesting. So that's uh, Driver San Francisco. Sharon, assassin. You could bet your life she's our shooter from the helicopter, which means she's on Jericho's payroll. And if she fixed Sarah Allen's kidnapping too, 
That means Jericho needs a chemist. Hmm. And I'll stop it there. Uh, drive for San Francisco. I'm sure it'll come up and see them many, many times again. Uh, I'm sure you can pick up a box copy even if it's not in sale for Amazon for cheapsies, cheapsies. Good driving game. Uh, I'm really liking the story in it. Um, in all honesty, the story is the best, the best part of it. The premise keeps it interesting enough, I suppose, without um, wearing out its welcome because, as you can see, it's basically hit checkpoint, win race. You know, the standard fur, like I said. Uh, the body cop thing is awesome. I love this. 70s, 80s body cop thing that goes on along with the music and the setting and the presentation. I think that's pretty great. What I didn't get to show you was the garage and the upgrade mechanics, all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, even though, as you can see, I have those points stacked up in the right, top right, I really don't care about that in this game. Um, I don't really give a rat's ass about upgrading my car. If I want to go play that game, I'll go play Burn It Paradise or I'll go and play... Um, you know, so, something else. I, I quite like the dirt games if I'm playing uh, cars. If I want a pure racer, I'll play Trackmania. Um, but I, I want to play through the story. I want a story game that's based around driving. Um, and for that reason, that's that's why I'm playing this game. Even if it was a cheap pickup. So, uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, the usual story. Uh, or visit the site in scrunchablecadaver.com. Um, where I'll put it up an article that will go with this, and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see next, obviously drop us a wee line. Otherwise, I shall just pick from my back library or from things that I'm currently playing. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.